Hi there, and I'm just going to walk you through cheap adding a SSD into my MSI GL62 laptop that I just got the other day. Uh, for various reasons, I opted just to get the base model with only the PCIe SSD, so I could add it. I've had a, a Samsung Evo 840 to go in it anyway. Um, I'm just doing this video as I've read a number of places online to, to do this, and I checked with MSI online, and they said it was a good idea anyway. As this little sticker here warranty sticker void if tampered. There's actually a screw under there you need to remove. Now the MSI Online, which I have in writing, have assured me that as long as there's no user damage, visible user damage inside, if that's broken, they'll still honour the warranty. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and start here. been using this laptop since it arrived and it is an absolute beast of a machine with the PCIe SSD drive in it. Uh, this is only the 8 gig model, I do plan on upgrading that to the 16 gig model in a month or two. I don't really have much need for it, I don't plan on doing much gaming in the next short time but that will change soon. No, just this one. Right, now I've got all the screws out, it's time to start loosening the case off. Uh, I've seen a number of people just doing this with credit cards. And I'll give that a shot. I do have some case opening tools as well, but I'll see how this goes. Take out the DVD drive. Let's get out now. Oh, yeah, I've got these screws here. That's why it was so tight.
ones out like that, nice and easy. Right, at this point, I'm going to stick on the anesthetic wristband. Well, me, just plug straight into the mains, but anyone that knows about electrics knows that's better than any of those things you can buy. Right, as you can see, that's the PCIe SSD RAM sockets. I'm going to add more to obviously where the optical drive goes, and this is where the uh, two and a half inch drive goes. This bracket was supplied, so I, just, I left it untouched just now until I can see this and see what screws looks like. The bracket supplied with four screws, two very short and narrow headed silver ones, which I think will be best for in there, and two short fat headed black ones, which would be best to attach to the hard drive itself. So I'm just going to go ahead and attach the bracket to the hard drive first. screws must be for the board itself. Yeah, definitely silver screws for the drive, black screws to attach it to the board. And I'm definitely glad I didn't priest do it and just say I've done this ready just to go in and okay as this is an SSD it's quite thin so it actually sits off of the board at the bottom I imagine some of the thicker drives will be in close contact okay neither uh... might be that I did, this has been in another system before, so it might be the screws I had in before were wider than that. So I'm going to go ahead and take this out again and check the silver screws against the board's threads. Seems to be a little bit out of alignment there to be honest. Nope, they're too big. Right. So one side the screw. Okay, it goes in there. Not sure what was up. resting on top of that plastic. Obviously not the best instructional video because of these little problems I've come across but always things to look out for. Everything and now it's time to put her back together. Put that 
side on first so you can get the headphone jacks lined up and poking through the case. Press it around, lined up and apply a little pressure. Gradually working the way around until it's all back together. And now it's just a case of putting the screws back, back in. everyone that's just the well, tear how to upgrade a GL62 MSI laptop and like I say I've confirmed the MSI as long as there's no user damage inside it's obvious the warranty any warranty should anything fail within the depends on what your warranty I've got uh, 15 months for filling out the online form it comes standard with 12 months some places supply it with two years some places supply it with three years but in in general, those additional warranties are with the seller and not the manufacturer. Okay, thanks for watching everyone. Bye.